great happy Monday and I knew some of you would want to see canning butternut squash I don't have time to set up the camera and tripod and all of that and do like a tutorial there's so many good tutorials out there but I figured I'd do a little snippet of what I'm doing so I just went ahead and I blanched my butternut squash and now I'm going to get it into some pint jars. I've got my pint jars in there, hot soapy water, my lids in really hot water over there. And time to get these beauties in jars. Okay, there it is in a jar. So pretty, right? You want to make sure you debubble it. And then we're going to go ahead and wipe off the rims. When you wipe off the rim, you always want, I use straight vinegar. Some people do half and half. Some people just do water. I do vinegar. I just have really good results. I rarely have a lid that does not seal. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a lid over here and a ring fingertip tight oh, look at how pretty look at how pretty right all right we're gonna set that off to the side I've got to get my canner out and going let's fill up one more jar together all right right in there and then kind of adjust them I don't want to overcrowd my jar but you can fit more in there do so oh, so pretty and then I'm gonna use my tea kettle which is one of the reasons why I wanted this baby one inch headspace, deep bubble, get it right down there in the middle, and then you always want to put your vinegar in a separate container so you're not double dipping and contaminating your bottle, and then you always want to use a cl the clean end of a rag so you're not putting any crumbs on anything as you wipe off additional jars. And then I'm gonna put a hot lid on it. I always soak my lids in hot water to soften that compound, fingertip tight. And look at that. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. I love, love, love butternut squash. I like to mash it with a little bit of butter, some salt, some pepper, that's it. Ah, oh, it's fantastic, and I'm so excited to get this up on my shelf. Let's do one more jar together, okay? <laughs> ah, this makes me so happy. Ah, it is a cold, brisk morning here in Michigan. The sun is out, though, and it is a perfect day to can. We're gonna be homeschooling. Probably um, while this canner finishes up, I'm going to take one, two chunks out just until I can make sure I can fit this all in the jar. Um, blanching it definitely makes it so that you can pack this in a bit tighter, although I don't want them super tight. I don't want a density issue, um, but I do 
want to be able to pack them in. Okay. One inch headspace. And I'm doing pints. I'm doing mostly um, wide mouth pints. Although I do have a couple of uh, regular mouth um, because I'm running, I've run out of wide mouth, which is very disheartening. I'm going to have to stock the sales at Walmart now for, can for canning jars. Although one of you sent me a link. Um, I think it's just jelly jars, though. I don't know if it's uh, for pints. I have to check that out. Now, I'm not adding salt or anything like that. Of course, I'm watching my salt intake um, now. Um, so, um, let me get a new napkin. All right, so we're going to dip in the vinegar. And then we're going to go ahead and clean that rim off of there. And you see, sometimes you get a little piece of that showing up, a little piece of butternut squash. So you want to make sure that you're always changing out your napkin. I use napkins. Some people use cloth. I use napkins because I like to be able to throw it away. Um and uh, keeping everything as clean as possible. Okay, where's my little doodad? Here we go. We are going to add a lid, add a band, fingertip tight, and now in the canner it can go because I have my canner ready to go on my stove. Do you want to do one more together? Let's do one more. I hope this inspires you to can some butternut squash. I have never canned butternut squash before, so this is my first time. Why? In all of these years, I have not canned butternut squash. I cannot tell you, but all of my canning buddies are canning squash, and they inspired me to get a few butternut squash over at the farmer's stand and can it. I'm like, why didn't? Why have I never canned? squash before why have i never canned butternut squash before i don't know but we're fixing that this year <laughs> so if you've never canned it can it with me let me know how your canning session goes down below do you see that see how much like just debubbling can really lower that water level a lot then you can kind of piece it in there a little better. So we're going to bring that back up to one inch head space. And we're going to take our napkin and clean that rim off. And get a lid on it. Get a rim on it. And there we go. In the canner it goes. All right. This is going to process for 55 minutes. <laughs> so it can be found in the USDA book, um, the uh, Complete Guide to Home Canning, on page 4-18. We're going to can this under pumpkins and winter squash. Okay. So 55 minutes for pints. And when it's done and I get these little beauties out of the canner, I'll come back and I'll show you what and they look like. I was able to get 12 pints, all wide mouth. And now with my leftover vinegar, I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in because I've got very hard water. That will help my jars not to cloud. And now we are going to put the lid on this, vent vent it for 10 minutes and pressure can this for 55 minutes when it's all said and done i will bring you guys back when we take these beauties out of the can. ready all righty let's take these beauties Woo! out of the canner oh i think i'm gonna vent that for a minute because i have the window open and it's quite cold in my kitchen 
All right, I'm gonna let that vent for just a few minutes and then I'll be bring you guys back and we'll take it out of the canner. Ready? <laughs> they are so pretty. Oh, do you hear them pop? Oh, <laughs> it's a magical sound. At least to a canning queen it is. All right, let's get these jars out. Look at how pretty you guys. Oh, so pretty, so, so pretty. Oh, this is when I swoon. This is when I should really set this video to music so you guys don't have to hear me gush over my over my uh, my butternut squash. All right, let me get this out here. Okay. Oh, so absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. I'm so happy, you guys. Now, I know Squash isn't for everyone, butternut squash in particular. So um, it's not for everyone here either in my house. Um, many, most of my, my kids aren't really a fan and Matt can take it or leave it. Um, but I absolutely love it and quite frankly, I like to eat it for lunch. I like to mash it with a, just a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper and um, I'll eat it with my Shakeology and I'll actually have this for lunch. And it's good for you. And it's good for your belly because it tastes delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and do you hear it? Headspace looks beautiful on all of them. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see. I'm gonna post this up as a video response to my friend Paul who also canned butternut squash. Um, Lisa just did butternut squash yesterday. I think Paul did his a few days ago. Um, I think Lisa did cranberries in hers. Um, and so, yeah. This is because my, this is peer pressure right here. <laughs> This is why I love this canning community and why I make videos. Because you guys inspire me. I see you guys canning. <laughs> and I saw everyone canning butternut squash. And I was like, why am I not canning butternut squash? I need to can butternut squash. And so yesterday I ran out and I got butternut squash. And here it is in a jar. And it's going to go in my pantry for the winter. <sighs> and I'm so excited. In fact, I might can this up again and do, and put 24 <laughs> pints <laughs> in my pantry. I might just do that. I might just have to can some more. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this little snippet. I didn't plan on making a video, but so many of you said, please turn on the video camera. So I did for you guys, and I hope this inspires you and puts peer pressure on you <laughs> to can butternut squash yourself. Uh, because why not, right? Join in the club. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like when one does it, we all do it. It's fantastic. I love it. That's why I love YouTube. All right. I will see you guys soon. Um, not sure what my next video is. Who knows? But look at that. Have no fear. I will be back. All right. Bye, guys.